Hello and welcome to Chapter 14, Father and Son. We've done our battle preps already. I've given Ephraim uh, the energy ring that we got. Give Ephraim another two strength. And we've bought a bunch of weapons, we've bought some extra vulnerabilities. We have exactly zero funds. Funds zero G. So, yeah. Uh, I probably could have sold more stuff in retrospect, but I didn't think it was that big of a deal. I got, I think I'll need for this chapter. So I'm gonna go right into it. After I'm super close to leveling up, so I'm just going to uh, give him this kill. That there's a sword slayer here that I don't think he can reach. Sword Reaver, I mean. Yeah, so we'll be fine putting Ephraim here. Uh, some of the things to know about this chapter. Um, we see all of the uh, status staves, so like Sleep, Silence, and uh, Berserk are all here. Silence we don't care about, but sleep is annoying because it will delay us. <laughs> Seems pretty obvious, but yeah. And silence is uh, silence is pointless because we don't have any casters, and berserk is going to be the worst, but only if it's cast on uh, someone that can actually kill our units. But if it's cast on a recruit. Um, that they will kill themselves on our units. I'm not sure how we're gonna deal with Berserk. Sleep, we can... Sleep, we'll probably have like a... Let's see. Um... Sleep has a low percent chance, usually. Berserk is a little higher. The game really expects you to have Restore Stabs. Sort of store staff user at this point. And those four in the corner are just going to stay where they are. On the right side, we have uh, Ephraim, Dussel, Ewan, Tethys, and Marissa. On, on, that's on the right side. On the left side, we have Seth, uh, Franz, Garrick, and two recruits whose names I don't remember. Um, could it be Arter and someone else? Yeah. You could tell uh, this. Amelia's are just starting to blend together at this point. I think the run is melting my brain. Just a little bit melted. We have Renek, or Renek. Uh, normally, you can recruit him with a. Uh, normally, you can recruit him with La Rochelle, but La Rochelle is dead, so we have to actually. Uh, we could pay him nine thousand nine hundred eighty gold with Ephraim to recruit him, but. We don't have 9,980 gold, we have zero. And uh, even if we did have that much, I wouldn't use it to buy Renak when I could just kill him, take his member card, and use the money to um, buy vulnerabilities and equipment. Seems kind of cold, but that's the truth. Sorry for you uh, Renak fans out there, if, if any exist. This 
we can send the armor slayer back for now. We're not gonna need it immediately. Easy kill. From just needs a couple more kills to reach level 20. We're gonna send the sword reaper back. Stick to so here. Eh, well, let's see. Yeah, we can do this. Well, it takes 8 and 10 and some amount from this fighter here. Yeah, hmm. That's actually... Let's do this. I'll stand next to him, trade over the, uh, the Iron Sword up, then use my Iron Sword, or Ephraim's Iron Sword, to attack this fighter. Get rid of him. There we go. Now we can safely put um, Marissa here. I can stick you in next to Arisa. I can just keep Tethys here too. For support building purposes. Uh, you have a hand axe. Hammer, steel axe. We can just kill the guy with a hand axe. And a steel sword. Pretty sure Renak just like runs across the map and leaves eventually. I don't remember exactly where he goes, but um, mostly because I recruit him by the time he's like in front of the throne room under a normal playthrough, but. In this case, he's just a little bit difficult to access. We're gonna send the hammer back. We're gonna go off to Deuce a little bit, but that's okay. Usul's pretty dodgy, even with a sword against these lance users. Range enemies have such weird AI when they can't attack from two range. They just. they're not meant to expose themselves, but they do anyway. It's fine. Uh, we can. probably just take this guy out right now. Yeah, I mean. We could, we just don't need to rush. I mean, we can just take care of this first. Or at least Renak only has four moves, so it'll take him a while to 
realize he needs to leave now. Here. Uh, we can probably chip down with Marissa. Or get a kill with her, depending on how much damage Dusel does. It doesn't double, fortunately. Ephraim is very close to leveling up, so... Um, let's do this. It's a pretty Amelia level up there. You can go for this with a lance. It's not like if Tussle's gonna tumble, regardless of what he tries to do. Stick Marissa in this corner here and throw a javelin. Okay. Just these four left. We have Amelia. Or oh, how can I forget we had Amelia here? That's okay. That's uh, oops. Dusel gone. Killing that soldier, it's a good move. And this one will get finished off too. And now we can get those two Myrmidons that came as reinforcements earlier. It's a kill, but we'll promote Ephraim next turn. Okay, Zeusol can get this kill in. Ephraim. Uh, well, I want Ephraim to have more bulks. I don't normally like promoting people as a great knight, but in this case, that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to put this nearly broken steel lance away. Grab a hero crest. Doesn't matter what I use. Select great knight. Change over. to supply again and grab a uh, hammer. Wait. I'm gonna just move our units up a bit more. Seth can kill one knight and then get the other on enemy phase. I'm a bit worried about those status staves up ahead, but if we can get past them and the next chapter, which is the desert chapter, I'll feel pretty good about our chances going forward. Anyway, 
after I want is to kill. I want after to kill this guy. Get up, grab the door key. We're gonna use that at next turn, so we're gonna just put away the uh, iron sword for now. We don't need that. And do soul. I'll keep on standby for now, but I'm gonna actually heal him up. I'll move these Amelia's back. this front. I'm gonna do the same thing with Seth. See if we can kill this guy. And we can just do it with the Steel Lance and finish him off on enemy phase. Just these four left in turn for now. Steel sword away for now. Yeah, steel sword. Those longbow archers being closer is not a bad thing, because we can throw javelins at them later. It'll be a while before we have to interact with them, but still, not bad. Now, Seth going to sleep here could ruin our pace a bit, but... Okay, good. Now we need to think here. So, bishops have six movements, which means they can go one, two, three, four, five, six. So, what I want to do. Uh, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then they can cast up to here. So, what I want to do is have Seth open the door. That's one move, and then. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That'll be a plenty. So what I'm gonna do is go to item, javelin, use the door key, and then head back and wait. On this side, I'm gonna do something similar, but we can't move as far with Ephraim because he's a great knight with only a six move as opposed to eight that Seth has. So we're just gonna go as far back as we can with the javelin equipped. Um, do we need anything from supply? I mean, we can take something just to fill space. How about... Um... Just go with an Iron Axe for now. Grab a spare bone memory since we used our last sip just now. These three can hang out and those four can hang out. Opening the doors gets enemies mo moving on the other side, which we need in order to clear them out so we can actually get to the throne room without getting berserked. Okay, it's a good start. 
I'm gonna finish him off with Zeusel later. Okay. Now we can finish that bishop off shortly. And we won't have to worry about sleep. Then we won't have to just worry about Berserk. 18, 18, so that's a 9 range, so if a Druid were to move here, it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we can use these knights that don't move as markers for how far we can move before we get Berserked, essentially. Uh, in this case, though, we have Steel Lance, Steel Lance. Neither of them can get close enough to do anything, so we're just gonna get the XP with Dusel. Something more accurate. And if Ephraim were to start using a hammer, well, we have to be careful, but we could go here. Start clearing out some enemies before the mages and stuff get close. There's more space to work. Now as for you... Uh, we can do that. Shine. Yeah, so we're just gonna sell that right here. And, uh. Karnak, we'll see which way it goes, I guess. It's too bad these units can't get much play, but they can't really do anything here either, so. Maybe later we'll get a chance to try some stuff. For now, I'm just trying to keep my units alive, so they can live to fight another day. I wish I didn't send that Armor Slayer back to the convoy in retrospect. It would have been nice to be able to one-round those guys. That's a little dicey. Let's start moving these Amelias back. They are definitely going to need more space. We can't cross this threshold just yet, as we'll start getting preserved if we do. I have. I move. One, two, three, four, five. So we're just gonna call over here, and uh, Javelin is fine. Heal up. We have a Lance Reaper. That's not good. I... Hmm. I stew, uh... Hmm. 
One, two, three, four, five. Attack here. Can't attack here. So let's just pull back to here. Javelin for now. Renak's gonna get away. If you hit both of these, we'll kill that. Myrmidon, and if we don't, I'll uh, just take five from him. That's not horrible. All right, let's go for that. Now I can counter those mages, and here. You have nine res, you have seven. Okay, well, let's try to go for this then. Go up here, trade Dusel's javelin up, and attack with our own javelin. to grab more javelins or hand axes from the convoy later, but for now I think we're good. Just doing this map with effectively three units is a bit of a pain. Why they even give Luna tomes to enemy enemy units? It's just it's just pointless. Like Flux is much more dangerous than Luna because it can hit. I mean, it's not likely to hit, but it can still hit. And uh, you guys are gonna just keep coming, so I'm gonna stick up from here. Uh, we don't have a lot of javelin uses left. Mm -hmm. Well, it might be time to go into that supply then. I can just put away a hammer for now and grab that hand axe that we holding on to for a bit, and deal with this dude. And I guess while we're at it, we could take care of this guy. Safe enough. Let's 
speed, luck, res, and HP. Okay, then. That's all of you guys done, so let's just end turn for now. Yeah, Renak's gonna go down that staircase, and then he's gonna be gone forever. And our member card will just be disappeared into the Aether. All because we have three fighters instead of... No. However many we're supposed to have for this chapter. <laughs> 12? 14? Something like that. So, like we discussed, this Berserk Staff, if used here, goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Since Berserk Staff range is half of magic power, right? Yep. So, putting someone here would be dangerous. But I guess if we stick out from here for now... Maybe not. Mm. Uh, let's go for this, just to get rid of this archer. And chip down this knight while we're here. safe enough to start moving the Amelia's up. Well, problem is if our unit gets berserked, they might go for the Amelia's, so maybe after we're done with the Berserk staff users, mm -hmm. might be the best. Okay, well, we could do this now. We only have three Javelin uses left, though, so that'd be wise about who we throw these at. We'll just wait for the mage to come to us. See ya, Renak. Enjoy being a member of the... I don't know, member card store, secret shop. <laughs> 